I'm Jim News Oklahoma's Brody Myers. Today, the family of Clayton Woolley is calling on all Oklahomans to stand up in defense of children. They were accused of murdering and abusing Clayton's brother, Elijah, but all of the charges were dropped. That's when Clayton was taken away from the home. He hasn't been back since. Today, we're listening to the family's concerns. They say this has been a failure of our justice system and the government. Clayton Woolley is just an arm's length away. He's living with guardians in Broken Arrow. But ever since his family lost him, they haven't even talked to him. But it's extremely painful to know that he's right here in our town. <laughs> we know that over the years we're going to run into him. He's going to see us. And I'm afraid he's going to be traumatized all over again. The Woolies accuse Clayton's guardians of abusing and neglecting him. The person looking after Clayton is an employee at the city of Broken Arrow. BAPD would not confirm or deny a possible investigation. But he is so worth fighting for, and that all of the suffering that he is enduring through this, that it's going to be for something bigger than him. Glory Woolley, Clayton's aunt, is leading the charge for the family, calling on all Oklahomans to speak out. The family says this was a failure of the justice system and DHS. Senator Dana Prieto of Tulsa has tried to start the conversation at the Capitol. I was told to sit down, shut up, keep quiet. We don't want to hear about it. Senator-elect Regina Goodwin is also in the fold. We need to help children, in particular, children that cannot help themselves. The moment Glory Woolley learned Clayton would be born, she started writing him letters in these notebooks. So I asked her, What would you write to him today? He was always wanted. I think there's nothing more that he needs to hear than that. That not just that he was loved and is loved, and not just that he was cared for, but that he was wanted. I sent a text message to the attorney representing Clayton's guardian. He said they could not comment on the case. Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.